White privilege is at an all-time high this week. It's like, I don't know who the fuck pissed them off, but man, these motherfuckers is on it. So uh, Central Park Karen, AKA Amy Cooper, she went viral after um, threatening to call the police on a black man in Central Park. Yeah. So, you see the that, right? Huh? You see the connection with that shit, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. So this this shit is even this shit is even deeper. Right. This woman, right, verbatim said, I'm going to call the police yeah. and tell them an African American man is threatening me. That right there alone is her knowing the power that she has with those words. Oh yeah. Her privilege. She knows she has it, and she's abusing it. And she looked dead into the camera. And then when you look at the guy she called the cops on, if you, did you see Christian Cooper? Yeah, they got the same name, too. That was the thing yeah, that yeah, was weirding me was, out. I was like... Brother, sister, whatever. No, no disrespect, black man. Christian Cooper is sweet as a candy bar. That nigga wouldn't hit a ladybug. And yeah, she nah, was, he wasn't yeah, hurt nothing. And she was sitting there the nigga was scared of the dog. She had, a, like, yeah. a little, little fucking poodle. The poor dog, she beat the shit out of the dog. Oh, man, that dog out. took a fucking L. The dog, you seen the dog face in the video? You're like, bitch, why me? The dog took an ass whooping for her shit. And like I say, she this shows you her her privilege that she knows. And that's why I say, I don't, anytime a white person tells me they don't have white privilege, show them that video. Yep. And tell me, and don't fucking act stupid. When she puts emphasis on African-American man. I love her. Like she I say, put that shit. The, and all he did was ask her to put a dog on a leash. Mm-hmm, yeah, because that's the requirement in the in the park. Like the the law in New York City is, if you're outside with your dog, you have to have it on the leash. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck how harmless you think the dog is. Not everybody is dog you friendly. Have phobias. Dog phobias, yeah, right. You gotta respect but, that. I say yeah. Central Park Five. Thirty years later, just with a camera. Thank God, it didn't you know? Uh, right. But he was alleged, allegedly, you know what I mean? He was falsely accused of some shit, just like those boys was falsely right. accused. Somebody else's bullshit. And, and the woman, she just didn't want life. him to tell her to put her dog on a leash. Mm-hmm. This nigga, he's, he's like, he's like backing up and like, you know, she's like, the dog is even like, yo, come on, lady, like, let's go. To, she's dragging the dog all over there with her. Like, you're not going to tell me what to do. You don't tell me what to do. Like, what the fuck? Look, where the hell was Peter? I ain't hear not a word from Peter. Peter. <laughs> I I'm serious. Just, and there's like, it's another video. You see the, the white man in the gym at his apartment. Yeah, I've like, seen that. Three young boys. I'm like, yo, white people, I guess, are really frustrated because of COVID-19. <laughs> they can't they go have, outside. They can't yeah, fucking do they anything. Like, they, are, they are flexing their white privilege. And I was like, if any white person ever tells me, and look, they, for me, the white people that I connect with in my you know life uh white people who got touch of reality they don't come at me with no bullshit right but i'm like show them any of those videos and sit there and tell me with a straight face you don't have privilege because like mm-hmm. i said a white guy got killed by the cops he'd be in jail you know period that cop would have been beneath the jail by now yep if a if a, if a, a black man had his pit bull off the leash, he would be dead. Like, they wouldn't even be like, put your dog on the leash. They killing him and the dog. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, but no. that's what I don't get. Like, you, it's selective outrage because, you know, the moment you say Black Lives Matter, they want to say all lives matter. And it's like, nobody's saying that your life doesn't matter. Clearly, America says that your life matters. Mm-hmm. But apparently, our lives don't matter yeah. because I could be accused of fucking forgery or selling loose cigarettes or stealing some blunts out of a store or all of these things that might be a crime, right? Even if, like, let's say allegedly, right, that maybe it did happen. If that is the crime, killing me does not, none of that is a death sentence. Uh This is not the medieval times to where as though if you stole something, they cut your hand off. Yeah, off with his head. Right. <laughs> this is not. Yeah. And this ain't Black it. Lives Matter, like I say, the slogan is cool. Uh, the the movement itself, you know, George Soros and all that shit, and the feminist stuff is kind of you know a reach. But when you say all lives matter, you're basically debunking the whole fucking narrative. We're talking right. we're trying to awareness on our lives. We know everybody else's lives matter. We're trying to put emphasis on us. And when you have people say that, it just debunks the narrative. And um. 
I hear a lot of black people saying, we need white people to speak for us. I really don't want them to speak for us, but that's what makes it complex because it does help when they speak. Yeah. But Tom, I just, I don't know if it's feeling like a victim, but I just feel like when you bring white people into it, it kind of just twists the whole narrative and it makes it, because it's supposed to be a black narrative. Right. You bring them into it, now it's an American thing. And yeah. Just, but that might be what we need. That's the fucked up part. No, we need a white person to come in and be like, fuck the, the American thing. It's the black thing. Like, just straight up call it what it is. And oh, yeah, be, call it black. Right. And, and, and just and be a real ally. Like, understand, like, yeah, I know I have privilege. I know. And th- what I mean by that is know that you can get in a cop's face and tell them they're a piece of shit and you're going to walk away. Right. Put your finger right in his face and be like, you piece of shit. Listen here, buddy. You're Uh a piece of shit. That man did not deserve to die. All of it. Like, tell it like it is. And you can walk off. I do that. Shit. Y'all might not even see me no more. Oh, yeah. This will be the last episode. Yeah, you'll be done. They'll tell you. I seen a video of some black woman getting hit in the head. You know, she had to fight back. But, you know, a man tried to save her. And uh, they tased him. You know, my thing is when you recording these videos and everybody's like, don't record them, do something. Well, you got to be ready to take that. Yeah. Because it was three of them around uh, George while the cop is on, while got his knee on his neck. Yeah. And he would have came and tried to, and we got numbers. It got to be like 10, 20 of us just jump the situation. Because if one person tries to stop it, you're going to get killed. Yeah. You know? You can, we do outnumber them. I'm going to say, if it was 20 people watching, shame on y'all. Y'all should have bum-rushed that situation. It's 20 yep. of y'all, it's four cops. I know they got guns, but if you really ready for a civil war, you got to be ready to take a bullet. And putting your phone out ain't good enough. Right. Right is right. Wrong is wrong. You see that shit happening. I'm sure there was some white people that walked by and was like, yo, this ain't right. Like, what? what? They but they just, they just minding their business because they're like, shit, I got it, you know. It was an Asian dude out there, an Asian cop. Oh wow! And you know he ain't going. He ain't going to go against the white. Yeah, that's why I say, as far as like a war goes, we're really we don't have any allies. No, <laughs> who's gonna fucking stand with us and, and really fuck with us like that? Yeah, but you know, unfortunately, these people that do this right, so the cops lost their jobs. Those four cops. Amy lost her job and she had to get a dog back. Not to mention the dog was a rescue dog. So he was already traumatized. And here you are dragging him through a park. He probably saw his little light flash before his eyes in the heart. Uh-huh. And um that guy that harassed those kids in the, the building, he I think he lost his his office or something. Good, good. Yeah. So there 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 are repercussions. One thing I will say is I do have to applaud um Minneapolis on the, the the quick action. Like the mayor went into action real fast. There was no like, we're gonna wait and see what happens. He was like, no, they're fired right away. Now, whether they go back to work or not, that's, you know. And that's the thing, like white people have to, like you said, when you go back to privilege, they can lose it all and bounce back. And bounce right. That girl, she's gonna have another job at another company and another, well, she had a mask on her face. So you don't really know what she looks like. Right. She'll but you know her name. <laughs> yeah, you know her name. She can change it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you get another job. And same thing with, with, with they'll, they'll, they'll rebound. I just don't, I don't even understand it. I don't even believe they are fired. Because, I mean, I just, that don't make any sense. The, the, the over-the-top protection that, that right. guy got, that doesn't stick. Well, I think it's partly because, you know, when you become a cop, like, you still have, like, you make some friends in the, in the force. Okay. Like, Right. So even if even if you do do something wrong, like they're like people that are like, yo, I got your back. You know, yeah. like that's the most loyal gang in the world. More exactly. Loyal. Bloods, Crips, Vice Lords, any of that. They they are loyal to a fault. They they got that blue brotherhood. And yeah. um, they're gonna always hang each other's back. Unfortunately, that's the way it is. But um yeah, I I don't know, man. I I, I do like that there are people taking action. I just, we just need more action. We need like serious consequences because we need for this to to stop. We need for cops to be scared to freaking throw a a black man, woman or child to the ground. You know, they need to think twice before they do it. They need to know that, look, you can lose everything. Take the pension, the fucking house, car, everything. 
Make and that's why some people are like, oh, burning your neighborhood down isn't doing anything. It's not scaring them. I'm like, yeah, right. you got to burning down some of these police stations. Yeah. Like, I, I'm, I might sound fucked up, but when that, uh, when that, remember in Dallas a few years ago, when the cop, when somebody was on the roof sniping cops? Yeah. I'm like, yo, that's the kind of energy, you know, that- Yeah, because you get their hurt. attention that way. Unfortunately, yeah. like, don't, don't get us shit. twisted. None of us, we're, neither one of us are saying, hey, go out and do this. Yeah, yeah. We're you know, just saying- what call you should right we're just saying what actually gets action yeah, and attention the attention and then obama went to the funeral yeah well just because he was the president so yeah yeah <laughs> like unfortunately he ain't got a choice i know he probably was like yo this is some bullshit like i'm torn between two back, worlds that funeral but didn't go to um aretha franklin's funeral <laughs> <laughs> he probably had something important to do i don't know i guess yeah. 